Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. Hey, we talk about Microsoft Flight Simulator and explain once in a while, but uh, we haven't talked too much about P3D. Uh, even though I do videos with uh, P3D or prepared, um, we've got something here in regards to that. And that is the PMDG 777. Uh, there are some updates and further details coming uh, in regards to that. So let's uh, check that out. So what they've learned is that the free PMDG 777-200LR slash F base package and the PMDG 777-300ER expansion package updates will release simultaneously with the all new PMDG 777-200ER expansion package. These updates are only going to be for prepared version 4 and 5 because PMDG um, has stopped supporting 32-bit development. Makes complete sense uh, because the 32-bit uh, FSX uh, tends to have out of memory issues and it's kind of hard to really develop detail when you run out of memory so but if you want a pmdg plane uh, for fsx i recommend going back to the older ones like this one right here uh, that i had picked up a little while ago the 747 400x queen of the skies uh, made for Flight Simulator 10 back in 2009. So it was made with FSX in mind. Um, so not as detailed as the ones today, but you're probably not going to have as many out of memory issues as you would with the later ones. So, uh, But then again, I wouldn't know because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> anyway, this free update is going to carry forward many of the features that were found from the 747 Queen of the Skies 2. Nope. Not this one. <laughs> I guess this is Queen of the Skies version one. No, Queen number two, uh, which I do have. Um, I do have that, and I've done videos with it too. So do some searching here on the uh, channel, and you'll, you'll find them. So this includes features such as ground services, uh, ground servicing, fuel density, improved animations, and an updated version of the fly-by-wire system. The sound engine has also been completely overhauled in line with the modern engine and an overhauled sound set. It's confirmed that the 777 cockpit model overhaul is in development and due at the end of 2021. The virtual cockpit will also pave way for Rainmaker to make an appearance and as such won't be part of the update coming later this month. They've also learned that um, all three engine variants of the 777 uh, will include their own engine simulation and associated cockpit instrumentation. So here are some pictures here as a preview of uh, what's coming up. So really nice. I don't have the PMDG 777. I thought about it, um, but I haven't uh, gotten it. I would say if I got another um, airliner, I probably would get the Dreamliner 787. Uh, but there's also some stuff that I've been wanting to get for X-Plane as well. I don't have a study level aircraft for X-Plane. And I wouldn't mind getting a, uh, an Airbus. Uh, for X planes, so I probably would do that um, before um, I get anything uh, more for prepared. Um, al although, if you've been watching my flight simulation videos, and if you would like to see the 787 Dreamliner, it's not PMDG. It's um, it's a Quality Wings. I think it's Quality Wings. Uh, if you'd like to see that, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, it's really important. I'd like to hear from you folks. If you would like to see the uh, professional Airbus over an X-Plane, or maybe I should get the 777 from P PMDG. I don't know. I thought maybe uh, two were enough. I mean, they're expensive as it is. Or the uh, 787, or maybe there's a different type of airline that you'd like to, uh, airliner that you'd like to see me fly. 
uh, yeah, just let me know. I, I like to hear from you folks. I like to get ideas on the types of things that you uh, like to see. So comments, comments are really important. Another thing that is important, hey, is that like button. If you enjoyed this video, click it. It's a good thing. Also, subscribing, clicking that notification bell is a great thing as well. So that way you can be part of our awesome killer community, which is growing uh, by the week. Hey, be a part of it. Be here as it grows. That way when it becomes really, really big, you can say, hey, I was there back when he had less than 500 subscribers. <laughs> so kind of a cool thing. Uh, so I hope you'll do that. And also uh, my social media links are down below and Twitch happens to be one of them, which I do streaming on. And uh, I do them on a variety of different simulators. And uh, some of them I, um, I do with the PMDG. And I'm hoping to spend some more time with the PMDG because, well, hey, I spent money on it. Uh, but I don't like to do everything uh, with airlines. Uh, but again, um, yeah, let me know the types of things that you'd like to see. And hey, if you got a PMDG, let me know. Let me know what it is that you have. Um, you know, and maybe you've had some of these old ones. I have, I have uh, something like this uh, for Flight Simulator 2002 and 2004. Um, as well. So let me know. Let me know what your experiences are with PMDG. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on another rambling episode real soon. Have a killer, awesome day.